We have four species of bumblebee in New Zealand that have successfully established here. They were originally introduced to pollinate clover, but are now important for horticultural pollination. Hastings-based company BioBees is New Zealand's only specialist supplier of bumblebees for commercial pollination. Our company was initially set up to provide bumblebees to the glasshouse industry, primarily the glasshouse tomato industry. In a glasshouse environment, it's a little bit different from the outdoors world. It's intensively cropped monocultures and they required a organism that could get in there and pollinate those plants. Otherwise, it had to be done by humans. Bumblebees have an advantage over honeybees on certain crops. Bumblebees are large insects. They're very hairy. They have bumbling movements over a flower. They make very good contact with the important parts of the flower. So they are very efficient at transferring pollen to the female parts of the flower. The honeybee, the hive lasts for many years. With bumblebees, it's just seasonal. They're much like wasps in that. They don't live throughout the year, or at least the hive doesn't. The queen starts a hive, she breeds the workers, the workers then go out and do those jobs and eventually it produces new queens and they go off and start up new hives the next season. The old queen dies off. Uh, she doesn't live to see uh, her grandchildren. <laughs> They uh, mate in those cages. We breed our queens for our bumblebee production. And it's the start of our new colonies. We got our original stock from wild. And uh, originally, it was very long time ago, from 1996. We keep getting wild just for our bees to get proper genes. <laughs> This room actually where we breed our colonies what going to be sold after a few weeks when they uh, have enough workers and enough eggs to go outside. One of those individual boxes will start their life just from one queen. The colony will grow up to six uh, 700 bees. One colony can live in a glass house for weeks, uh, what we guarantee, but it uh, can stay much longer. This is what a hive would look like after about two weeks in the field. So we've got the queen in here, we've got a lot of workers, we've got pollen, uh, there's a pollen patty there, they've created some little honey pottles, we've got eggs and larvae in these little round sort of cocoon things here, or you can see them there with a the little hole for feeding. This would have wool in there and they'll spread the wool out and around the nest and they use the wool to, to maintain a stable uh, environment in there, so it's insulation. BioBees is exploring the possibility of using bumblebees to perform other services other than just pollination. One thing that we're actively investigating at the moment is using bumblebees to take out beneficial microbes out into the crop and deliver them to the crop. When they come out of the hive, they have to walk through a box that has the inoculum in there. They pick that up on their hairy body. They then leave that box and fly out to the crop and deposit the microbes either on the flower directly or on the leaf surface in sort of a cloud. Environmentally, the use of biological control is a lot safer to the consumer, to the environment. It's reduced the chemicals needed to manage the crops, so less pesticides, less insecticides, hopefully, and less uh, fungicides. And uh, it also means that the, the food is better for the consumer, it's safe and healthy and good food to eat. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.